Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play a song called Unwell by Matchbox 20. And we're going to start off on our intro on an A major chord, and we play A major. First finger goes to the D on the second fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the B string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the A on our, on our intro and kind of our chorus later, we're going to be going to a D major chord, and we play D major. First finger goes to the G on the second fret. Second finger on the high E on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the D, we're going to be going to an F sharp minor chord. Normally, you do this as a bar on second fret, third finger on the A string, fourth fret, and pinky on the D string, fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F sharp minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. Now, if you're new to bars, you could make that a smaller bar by doing just the top two or the top three strings or the top four strings even. You kind of use that for the F sharp minor. And then from the F sharp minor, we go into an E major chord. We play E major. First finger goes to the G on the first fret. Second finger on the A string, second fret. And third finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E major chord. And it sounds really, really happy. And then we kind of go back to the A. F sharp minor, E major. Now one way you may want to strum through it though is you could use just down strokes actually, just kind of eight downs on each one. And you may want to kind of try and do some muting too. So I'm kind of laying down my, my, the flat of my right hand now on top of the saddle to kind of get a muted quality out of the string. Or a lot of times with a song like this, I like to use something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, Progression we have A, down, up, up, down, and D, down, up, up, down, up, F sharp minor, down, up, down, up, D, down, up, up, down, and D, down, up, down, and D, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, D, down, up, up, down, up, F sharp minor, down, up, down, up, D, down, up, down, up. Now, another strum pattern I would think about using through the song though is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is right now we're kind of dividing our B or our foot tap into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, one, two. That's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is is where you divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns for a song like this is down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. Up. And what I mean by that is if you take the A and do it down for four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. that's what you're doing in the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So all together, you got down. progression you'd have A, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 to our first verse, which kind of takes all those chords and kind of mixes them up. And if we're doing the down, down, up, up, down, up, there are a lot of places where we'll end up kind of just doing a down, down, up on, on some of the chords because they don't last as long. So if we kind of try that first verse with our down, down, up, up, down, up, we'd have D with a down, down, up, E, down. those chords with a down, down, down up of the, of the strum pattern. So you have D, down, down, up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up,
course we'll be going into our pre-chorus. And our pre-chorus starts on a C sharp minor. Normally you do this as a fourth fret bar, second finger on the B string on the fifth fret, third finger on the D string sixth fret, and the pinky on the G string on the sixth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C sharp minor as a bar to kind of sound really sad. Now you may also want to think about lifting off the third or the pinky and making that a C sharp minor seven, which can be a cool thing. Or if you want to avoid the bars, you can make a smaller version of that chord by doing first finger on the high E fourth fret, second finger on the B string fifth fret, third finger on the G string sixth fret, and kind of use just the G, B, and E for a C sharp minor. Or you could put the third finger on the D string sixth fret, pinky on the G string sixth fret, make it a little bit thicker C sharp minor. And then from the C sharp minor, we go to D, and then we go to A, and then we go to E. And through that part, it's almost like you're halving it. So if we're doing the down, down, up, up, down, up, we'd have C sharp minor, down, up, B, So you could work that the whole strum pattern down, down, up, down, down, up, e, down, up, e, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, e, 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 down, up, down, up, One other thing I'd think about adding to the song though is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you get thrown a bass for the chords. A bass, down, up, up, down. So on the A, you'd have the A for the bass. On the D, you'd have the D for the bass. On the E, you'd have low E for the bass. And on the F sharp minor, you'd have low E for the bass. We'd do the full bar. And on the C sharp minor, we'd have the A string for the bass. So we try adding basses to that next verse. We'd have D with the D bass, E with low E bass. we could kind of add, use bass down, down, up to half things. So we have D, down, down, E with the bass, down, down, E with the bass, down, down, E with the bass, E with the D bass, E with the low E bass, E with the D bass, E with the low E bass, E with the D bass, E with the low E bass, E with the D bass, E with the low E bass. From there, we'd be going into our next pre chord tried that with a bass down up up down up we'd have c with an a bass down up d with an e bass down up a with an a bass down up d with an a bass down up c sharp minor with an a bass down up d with a d bass down up a with an a bass down up d with an a bass down up or if we tried that with our 16th you'd have c sharp minor with an a bass down down d with an e bass Next chorus. We try our chorus with a bass down, up, up, down, up. We'd have the A with an A bass down, up, up, down, D with a D bass down, up.
bridge starts on D major, and then we go to F sharp minor, and then we go to D, and then we go to F sharp minor, and then we go to D, and then F sharp minor, and then we end on a kind of an E major. And you'll kind of hear the, this cool little thing where, where, where on, on the F sharp minors especially, it almost sounds like you do the eight down idea through through those parts. So if you're doing bass down up, up, down up, you have to do the D bass down up, up, down up, F sharp minor. how you can strum through Unwell by Matchbox 20. So good luck.